For Comedy Hype News, I'm Tatiana LaJoy. Every few years, a figure comes along who makes a stand for those coming up behind him. In comedy, it would be Lenny Bruce and Dick Gregory. Bruce had been arrested on several occasions for acts of obscenity in the 60s, while Gregory had given up stand-up entirely to dedicate his life to the civil rights movement. Dave Chappelle is yet another one that's taking a stand against corporate interests in favor of the First Amendment, similar to Bruce. However, Chappelle's challenge with the LGBTQ could be argued as a case of history repeating itself, because back in 1990, comedian Arsenio Hall went through a similar incident when he was called out by the Queer Nation live on his talk show. During an episode that aired on December 14, 1990, Four members of the group Queer Nation, an LGBTQ organization founded in order to combat anti-gay violence and prejudice in the arts and media, were seated in the back row in different sections of the audience and interrupted Hall in the middle of the show's opening monologue. The individuals interrupted Hall in order to question him on why there has not been any openly gay guests featured on the show. Hall decided to stand his ground and handle the situation head on. He made his way to the audience and he had this to say. Well, there are a lot of gay guests who really don't like to talk about their sexual preference, so we don't know whether they're gay or not. This ain't Merv. You didn't think I'd run from this, did you? This ain't Johnny. I ain't gonna run from it. I'm gonna deal with it. Hall then asked what gay guests they would like to see on his show that hasn't been on. Two individuals responded with professional football player Eric Kramer and film director and producer Gus Van Sant Jr., one of the most prominent filmmakers in the new queer nation cinema movement. New Queer Nation Cinema was a term coined in 1992 by academic B. Ruby Rich in Sight and Sound magazine to define and describe queer themes in independent filmmaking in the early 90s. Hall responded, I don't know Gus Van Sant, but I know Elton John. He's been here and he's rocked the house. Okay. A member followed up with actor and playwright Harvey Fierstein. When Harvey has something I'm interested in, I'll bring him on the show. But this is my show, okay? This is my show. You think, you think I haven't had somebody on the show because they're gay? What's wrong with you, man? The audience was behind Hall the entire time. He proceeded back down the stage and then apologized to the audience, but was interrupted once again. The Queer Nation members continued in order to call him out on comedians doing gay jokes. Arsenio defended himself by claiming he doesn't do anti-gay jokes but he does characters. He plays McDonald's waiters, politicians, and celebrity impressions because he's a comedian. Sound familiar in today's day and age? History repeats itself once again. Remember back in 1977? Richard Pryor headlined a gay rights benefit at the Hollywood Bowl. He was told he'd be performing for a human rights benefit, but felt like he fell victim to the bait and switch right before the event. Not only that, but according to The Guardian, he noticed that a young black dance group called The Lockers were treated poorly by the staff. Stagehands allowed them to perform with poor lighting, but were quick to help the white ballerinas. He saw the show's promoters refusing to come to their defense. The first thing Pryor said when he got on stage was, I came here for human rights and found out that what it was really about was not getting caught with a dick in your mouth. The audience roared in laughter. From there, he went on to describe how he felt the gay community often looked the other way when it came to civil rights and black struggles. Of course, there was outrage, but Pryor had his fair share of supporters. Many appreciated him for causing the LGBTQ to examine their own prejudice blind spots. As Arsenio went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Queer Nation, he too faced some backlash of his own. In recent years, the altercation has gone viral, making its rounds on social media, leading Arsenio to recount the incident on several major platforms, including talk and radio shows. During the press runs for the revival of the Arsenio Hall show back in 2014, Vlad of Vlad TV asked about it, and this is what it had to say. I played and I was angry, and I'm still angry, because there was no one more important to the gay community in late night. I put the first openly gay female stand-up on. We were in a climate at the time where the ignorance of the gay community about their own community was their problem. This is the same problem surfacing today with Dave Chappelle's latest special, The Closer. Neither side is listening to each other. Criticisms of The Closer do not focus on Chappelle's main issue, which he said was white people. On the other end, Chappelle said he's willing to meet with the LGBTQ community to hear their side. In regards to the criticism he received, Arsenio elaborated, here was my frustration and anger. I knew what was going on in Hollywood. I knew who was gay and they were on my show every night. And to have someone stand up in my audience and do that to me, 
because you're taking food off my plate, taking money out of my son's tuition when you stand up at my job and do that. And if you are wrong, and I say they're wrong, I'll say it today, they're wrong. And I'll keep the segment in today because people that are wrong should have that happen to them publicly. Paul. In an article posted in the Los Angeles Blade in 2018, Richard Noble, a longtime LGBT rights and HIV AIDS activist, recalled the events leading up to the altercation. While promoting the upcoming release of Coming to America, Arsenio appeared in Ebro in the morning and was once again asked about what happened the night of the taping. I think the thing that really bugged me was all the gay people that showed up at my show after that night couldn't step up and defend me because that would have been a monumental moment in their lives. If I treated them the way they treated me, I'd be a gay basher. I'm a comedian and I'd be the best not to do a joke if it felt created some kind of pain for someone. Hall. Comedians and other entertainers facing off against the gay community is something that has become all too familiar with us due to cancel culture. Queer Nation, assuming Arsenio hasn't had a gay guest on his show when he has and confronting him for it is the type of blind spot the Guardian article was referring to. They're quick to defend their own community, but don't extend or offer much help to other marginalized communities. It's what Richard Pryor spoke on in 1977. It's what Dave Chappelle spoke on in 2021, and between those two incidents, Arsenio Hall has joined the list with his own confrontation. What do you guys think about history repeating itself? It's fascinating to see some of our pioneers in comedy fighting for more than just a few laughs on stage. What they've done and are doing now is bigger than comedy. This isn't a gay rights issue, but a human rights issue. Stay up to date with the latest news and comedy by subscribing to our YouTube channel and follow Comedy Hype on all social media platforms and look out for new original content on our new streaming service at ComedyHype.com. For Comedy Hype News, I'm Tatiana LaJoy.